This session is going to be about how to file things in your computer where you want them instead of where your computer decides to put them and how to find them again later. Every file on your computer, no matter how it got there, has a u unique name and it has a unique location in your computer. And to get to that name and location, to open a file or to save a file where you want it, you need to understand the system for that unique location. You need to know the location of this particular file that you want to save or want to open. And you need to tell the computer the complete path to that file name, the path to that file name. Think for a minute about how you would file something in your house before you had a computer. Supposing it was a recipe for something. Suppose it was a recipe for lasagna. It would probably be on a piece of paper and if you had a lot of recipes for lasagna and a lot of other pieces of paper telling you many other things, you might have a file cabinet or more than one file cabinet in some room in your house. And if you were well organized, you would have a system for finding that recipe in that file cabinet. And if you were out of town and you told your house sitter, that you needed them to mail you a copy of the recipe, you'd have to tell them what room the file cabinet was in, which file cabinet in that room, what drawer in that file cabinet, and if you had a lot of uh, recipes, maybe what folder in that file cabinet to look in. And then you would say, look for the file, the piece of paper that says lasagna at the top. Well, your computer is organized the same way. The complete path to a recipe for lasagna in your computer, if you have one stored there, starts with the letter of the drive in which the file resides. Usually that's your hard drive, the C drive. And it continues with all the folders and subfolders in which the file is contained. So if you have a recipe for lasagna in your computer and it's saved in your hard drive, it's probably in a folder or it could be, let's, let's just use an example, it could be in a folder that is called My Documents and there's a subfolder under that. There are a whole bunch of folders under My Documents, one of which is called Recipes and the recipes folder has a whole bunch of sub subfolders in it one of which is called pasta another one might be called desserts but this one is called pasta and in that pasta folder is a file called lasagna and the complete path to that file is C backslash my documents backslash recipes backslash pasta backslash lasagna. And in my computer or Windows Explorer, the path looks like this starts out on the C drive, comes down to my documents, and within my documents, there's another folder called recipes, and within the recipes folder, there's one called pasta. And within that pasta folder is this lasagna recipe. Here's how it actually looks in Windows Explorer. See my documents, recipes, and the pasta folder is highlighted and open, you see there. And that means that in the next window over, it shows you what's in that pasta folder. A file called lasagna.document.
doc. And the .doc part of the file name tells the computer what program to use to open the file. The file that I actually have open, this one here that I'm showing you on the screen, is called How to Store Your Files .doc, and it is open in Microsoft Word. And for the files that you create, you have to think through this process of specifying the path, and you have to tell the computer what that path is, so that when you go to look for your file later, you will find it. I'll go through the details of that shortly. If, going back to this lasagna recipe, if you had more than one recipe for pasta in that pasta folder, say you also had a recipe for ravioli, this is the way your Windows Explorer window would look. You'd still have the C, My Documents, Recipes, but in the pasta folder, which is open, you would show two recipes, one for lasagna, one for ravioli. Now let's work through this process for two actual files, one that is already in my computer and one that we're going to create. The one that's in my computer is this file. It's a Word document. It's one that I have typed and put some photos in of, uh, of Windows Explorer windows. It's uh, one, two, three, four, about four pages long. And it's a Microsoft Word document. Now if I go to save that document now, and I would go to File, and then I'd come down to Save As. Save As means the computer is going to require you to tell it that path. I'll show you how it requires you to do that. It puts up a window called Save As, which has a lot of different pieces and parts. First of all, it, it requires you to tell it where to save it, in what folder to save it. And it requires you to give it a name, and it requires you to tell you what type of file. It requires you to tell the computer what type of file this is or that you want this to be. This file has already been saved, so when it came, when Save As came up, it puts up the folder that I have previously saved it in. And if I click this little down arrow, it will show me where that teaching package is folder is. You see the, see it's up here, it says teaching packages. And when I click the down arrow, when I click the down arrow and don't put it somewhere else, it shows you that the highlighted folder teaching packages, which is under the Documents Often Used folder, which is under the My Documents folder, is the place where this has been stored previously. And if I don't change that, it will be stored there again with this name, which is the file that I gave it before. I'll go through the rest of these when we go to work on a new document.